Hello everybody, my name's Alan and you're watching Guns, Gear, and Outdoors Alaska. Today, we're going to be taking a look at my Ruger Super Blackhawk, made in 1963. But before we get into the gun, let's do some shooting. Woo! This thing's got some oomph. That's it, five shots. Talk about that in a second. Let's get a closer look at this thing. Know what you're probably thinking, you're probably saying, Alan, that's a Ruger Super Blackhawk. They make those every day. Why is this a old gun review? Well, back in 1963 when they made these, they were a little bit different mechanically. These are sometimes called the, the three screw model. As you can see here, it's got three screws. So before 1986, when they came out with uh, the new model Ruger revolvers, they had this. And the main difference is, these don't have the transfer bar safety. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So both these revolvers are clear, I checked them. So if we look in the back of this one, you can see it's just a firing pin floating in the frame. But here, I have a 22 mag Ruger single six. That is a new model, and you can, I don't know how well it's gonna come through on the camera. I know sometimes my focus on up close objects isn't the greatest, but you can see that little bar in there. That, it, when you pull the trigger, comes up and provides a transfer from the hammer to the firing pin. If the trigger's not pulled, no matter what you do with the hammer, it's not gonna hit that firing pin. That allows you to safely carry six rounds in the new model revolvers, and why I only carry five rounds in ones like this. This works a lot more mechanically like the old single action army. It doesn't have a firing pin on the hammer, it has it in the frame, but other than that, the cocking works the same, and I choose to carry it with five rounds in the chamber because if you do have one laying on there, and it does have a little safety notch, but it's pretty, pretty hard to feel. I don't really trust it. If you get a whack on the back of the hammer, you could set that off. So before I talk about the other features of the gun, let's uh, load this one back up and I'll show you how to do it. Loading only five with the hammer resting on an empty chamber. So this is a little tricky working behind the hammer here. But unlike the new models where the cylinder unlocks just when you open the gate, this one doesn't. The gate works independently of the cylinder. So we can open the gate and we want to put the hammer on half cock. So that's going to be two clicks. One, that's your safety notch. Two, that's half cock. And you can see now the cylinder rotates freely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load one round and I'm gonna skip one chamber. And I'm gonna load four more. So there's one, two, three, four. Now, when I cock the revolver and let the hammer down, it's going to be sitting on that empty chamber. But now that we got it loaded up again, let's do some more shooting. There's our five. Let me show you how we get these empty cartridge cases out. So this also works a lot like the old single action army. We're gonna open our gate, put it on half cock to free up the cylinder. And now we have this plunger ejector where we take them out one by one. Not exactly a, a speedy reload here. And there's our five cartridge cases. All right, let's get into the features of the gun. So I, I picked this thing up used before I moved up here to Alaska. Believe it or not, I wasn't around yet in 1963 when this thing was made. 
So yeah, whoever had it before me, you can tell, I don't know how well it's gonna come through on the camera, really liked this gun. You can tell just by the wear patterns on the bluing that this thing was carried and shot a lot. It's got almost no finish around the ring on the cylinder. You can see a lot of wear marks where it was taken in and out of the holster. I think that's really just a testament to the ruggedness of these Ruger revolvers, both made then and now, because after consistent use, I don't baby this thing, I wear it, I take it out and I shoot it with full power loads and the timing and everything just locks up, rock solid, timing's good. This thing shoots shoots great still, even after all that use. So this, this model is the seven and a half inch barrel and get a little bit extra velocity out of that 44 mag it's pretty potent and you get a nice long sight radius you can make some accurate shots the front sight is just kind of a plain black notch i might end up painting that orange in the future especially since the finish on it is mostly gone so it's bare metal glares a little bit in their rear sight just kind of the adjustable ruger notch showed you the plunger ejector already that hasn't changed since the the new models. But one thing they did change even more recently than adding the transfer bar safety, I think the new Ruger revolvers got rid of the squared off uh, back of the trigger guard. I may be wrong, they might not have done that for all the models, but I know a lot of the newer ones have a rounded trigger guard, because if you do hold this thing wrong, it will wrap you in the knuckles, that pointy part. I'm not really sure why they did that, if that was a stylistic choice, but if you know how to hold it right, it won't bite you. But I have pretty small hands. If you got big old mitts, that sharp corner on the back of the trigger guard might bite you. Another thing about this gun, the three screw model here without the transfer bar safety, it's smooth. I don't know. We're unloaded here, but just cocking it, one thumb, it is it is buttery smooth, easy to cock. I don't know whether this thing, it's just because this thing's old and been cocked many thousands of times and all those parts are worn and running smoothly, or if that old pre-transfer bar safety just had a smoother action. But yeah, this thing is a blast to shoot. I think this gun's got a lot of years in it, yet mine outlast me. Good luck to whoever gets it after me, but yeah, this thing's great. It's fun, and I know a single action revolver, a little outdated, but it's tried and true and solid and reliable. Good seven and a half inch barrel. Another thing I want to mention, the trigger on this thing is great. This is a light, crisp, awesome trigger. It makes it makes it really easy to get good hits. But yeah, that's that's all I really got to say about it. Good, solid, simple, rugged revolver from Ruger. If you see some of these old ones floating around, maybe check them, make sure they're tight, make sure the timing's good, but yeah, don't hesitate to go after them. And if you do have an old three screw model and you wanna get it updated to the transfer bar safety so you can carry it with all six rounds, you can go ahead and uh, send it to Ruger and they'll do that upgrade for free, which is really cool. That's nice of them to do that. But I think I'm gonna keep this one original, just my personal choice. I don't mind losing one round. I'm gonna keep it how it is. But thanks for watching, guys. I had a good time showing you my revolver. Yeah, neat old one. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. Gets dark really early this time of year. It's three o'clock and it's already getting dark. Sun's going down. Guess if the old Bravo will start, I'll be on my way home.